Holy crap, guys. It's like I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> man, what a haul, man. We talk about a strong finish. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the dirt store. Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and today, today we're kicking, whoa, we're kicking things off at the Goody Will. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? So we're gonna head in here. It's cold here today, folks. It's 18 degrees. It's kind of snowing a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of see the, uh, maybe I can, can you see the flurries? There's not, it's nothing major. It's not like, you know, up north or anything like that, but we are getting snow. It's December 22nd, or just this is what I'm there. Today's the 22nd. Anyway, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Look what I just found over here. Somebody, oh, oh it must have blown from over here. Man, it's windy out too. All right, let's do our good deed for the day. Let's put this back where it belongs. Oh look, there's a whole bunch of toys over here. Any, any good stuff? People just try and stuff off, I guess. I don't see anything. Let's let's head inside. It's cold. Alright. Let's head back to the toy section. And what's this over here? Oh. He's got no arms. All right, what do we got over here? Man, this thing here's been here for like weeks now. Hmm. I don't see anything. This has been here a long time too. <laughs> Looks like somebody ripped his arms off. He used to have arms. That sucks when people do stuff like that. Oh, look at this. Somebody made that <laughs> all right well there's nothing here and it doesn't look like there's anything here in plushville either now there is this thing what's that supposed to be kind of reminds me of like a big gate that you would like uh keep a dinosaur behind you know like on uh Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, like one of those big metal gates. And then you'd have like the electric fence running down this way, you know. All right. Well, here's the back of Goodwill. They got all kinds of stuff they have to sort through. I wonder how many like good toys are in there that they're not even gonna put out on the shelf and probably send off to the, uh, the auction site. All right, guys, Goodwill number one busted so we're gonna hit up another goodie will and then we're also gonna hit up st vinnie de paul and we're gonna hit up the thrift store let's head that way and see what kind of goodie oh my gosh it's so windy all right my friends we are at the salvation army I haven't been here in a while, so we'll head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. Maybe we can uh, score some vintage toys out of here, huh? All right, let's see what's up. All right, but what do we got over here? Yeti bot. What's a Yeti bot? Solar powered, I think. Solar Yeti bot. All right, well, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> this is their toy section. And this is gonna be a quick trip. All right, guys, busted. I don't even know why I even stopped here. They never have anything. That's why I never stop here. I've been here three times. And all three times I've had exactly that in there. All right, let's go hit up the thrift store next. Well, surprise, surprise. So on the way over to the thrift store, I noticed that there was a, uh, a Grace Bridge resale here in Plano. I had no idea. I thought there was just, one, the only one was in Frisco. So, uh, Let's pop in here real quick and see if we can find something. Uh, okay, their store hours are only Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Today's Thursday, so they're not open. Well, at least we know. <laughs> at least we know that's another option now. We'll have to hit that up soon. All right, God, it's freezing. I think it's like 16 degrees. The temperature keeps dropping, and this wind doesn't help at all. 
All right, I'll see you over at the thrift store. All right, my friends. We are here. Man, battling the elements today. All right, let's see what they got in here. All right, we got Woodstock, music collection, anything down below. I don't know what that is. Curry Gurry. There's some Thomas the Train stuff. All right, let's go check the bags. All right, what's this? Oh, we got a dragon in there. He's kind of cool. What's this back here? Uh, just some sheep. <laughs> There's a baseball. Some train track. Probably goes to that Thomas thing. Oh yeah, it says Thomas and Friends. And what's this? We got a sea turtle and just like some safari animals. Some sort of T-Rex. Oh, there's some trolls in there. Wonder if they're newer ones. One, two, three. There's like three trolls in that bag. a Chuck E. Cheese ball. <laughs> hey, get it? A cheese ball? That's funny. I just made a joke. A Chuck E. Cheese ball. <laughs> All right. Fisher Price picnic basket. I wonder if that's uh, new or vintage. Looks like it might be newer. Looks like it plugs in and maybe it glows. It's kind of like a Rubik's Cube. That'd probably make a neat little display like backdrop. All right, three bucks. I think I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, we got a Captain America ball. Some sort of dinosaur. And what's this? Oh, it's uh some sort of gauntlet. It's missing it. The, missing the jewels, though. I got a Superman clock with an apple. <laughs> That's different. Oh, look at that big guy. And we got this robot. I used to have him actually in the box, but I sold him. Wow! Look at that thing. Is that a Bentley? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Check that out. Man, that would make some kid super excited, I'm sure. All right, well, what do we got over here? Oh, Funny Farm? Oh, that's a great movie. All right, yeah, let's pick this up. Anything else here? Stepmom, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. I've seen that, actually, it's, a, it's not a bad movie. It's pretty good, actually. All right, I'm not seeing anything else. But that right there is a sweet, sweet score. Hey, check this thing out. Ah, oh, man, his arms are broken. I think I actually saw one of these on uh, eBay not too long ago, and it was selling for like 200 bucks. Oh, this is from Hobby Lobby, not the same one. <laughs> there was the one that I saw that was very similar to that. That was going for a lot of money, but I don't think it was that one. All right, guys. Go with it. Go with it. Go with it. All right, let's uh, do a little show and tell. All right, well, there it is. This piece here actually lights up, but I thought the light would maybe trickle up through the rest of them, but it doesn't appear to do that. So now I'm kind of just like wondering, like, why even have the bottom one light up? So, and when this plug is in, you can't really put the other pieces all the way across that bottom platform. You gotta kinda shift them to the left there a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. And I think it'll make a nice little display piece, add a little color to the bunker. 
And then we also picked up Funny Farm. This movie is awesome. See that scene right there, him all, him in all camo? He's actually, uh, they have a mailman. If you're, if anybody has seen this movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But they have this crazy mailman that uh, never actually puts the mail in the box. And, uh, and I think the mailman even, like, destroys the mailbox, if I recall, on several occasions. So uh, Chevy Chase is like, you know, he's got it out for him because he's like, I'm tired of this guy. But anyway, this movie is hilarious, and I can't wait to watch it. All right, up next, we're going to go hit up another Goody Wheel, then St. Vinnie de Paul, and we'll probably end our adventure today at Craptastic Sam's. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. Goody Wheel number two. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Now, this Goody Wheel has not been producing at all for like months. But one of my thrifting friends was over here last week. He said they got a new manager and they've been putting stuff out. And he scored a Sega Genesis and some video games to go along with it. How cool is that? So maybe... Maybe we'll find some good stuff today. Fingers crossed. All right, what do we got? Captain Marvel. We got another one of those big tick watches. I've been finding a lot of those popping up lately. And uh, some Avengers headphones. Those Jordans are kind of cool. Oh, I like those shoes there too. Not my size. My foot's not that big. All right. We got a two pack of water guns here. What's this thing? Pinewood Derby, oh, zapped. Well, at least they have a few new things out. It's still junk, but at least there's something here now because the last few months, I don't even think there's been this. This is a cool little playset. I like that. And nothing else. Anything in Plushville? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Hey, is it Nemo? Finding Nemo! What's over here? Oh, I got some dinosaurs. Rawr! <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. That's Geronimo. I don't know who that is, but I know that's Geronimo. Gun, that's awesome. It's kind of creepy. Oh, they got the Matrix reloaded. Oh, Iron Eagle, that's awesome. That is really awesome. Oh, this is Iron Eagle 2. I wonder if they have the first one. I'll definitely get this, but the first one was great. I can't remember the second one. <laughs> the boys from Brazil. Gods and Monsters. Interesting. Zulu. Art of War. What's this one? Oh, nothing. Just a western. Uh, a Christmas Carol. Hmm. I don't know. I might get that. I always like. I like this. These. Uh, I like the story. Oh, here's another Chevy Chase. What's what's, what's this one called? Fletch lives. All right, well, we're on a Chevy Chase kick, so let's go ahead and grab that. Psycho 2. Again, sometimes these horror flicks can be worth money, so I'll put it off to the side, and we'll check on it. Michael Douglas in Black Rain. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. Westworld. Eddie Murphy, The Distinguished Gentleman, Eddie Murph, Eddie and Martin, Life, Harlem Nights, In 
Angel Heart. That looks like it could be a scary movie. It says, I was spellbound. It was Raymond Chandler meets The Exorcist with all the twists. It provokes real goosebumps. All right. Well, let's check into it. Fierce Creatures. They got a ton of VHS out over here. This is awesome. Jack Nicholson, The Last Deal, or The Last Detail. No shit, Navy's going to give some poor effing kid eight years in the effing brig without me taking him out for the time of his effing life. Hmm. I might get it. I've never seen it. There's a Rocky Five. That's on VHS, huh? I thought that came out like... Like mid-2000s or something like that. I don't know. I'll grab it. White Hunter, Black Heart, Clint Eastwood. Tide Rope. Collateral. Mission Impossible. Starman. Oh, yeah. I remember that movie. Oh, look at this one. Walt Disney. Oh, that's not even a VHS. Is it like a beta? Oh, yeah, I think it's a beta. Huh. Look at this. Friday the 13th, part three. And it's... Oh, I thought it was still sealed. All right, let's grab that, though. What's this one? A vampire in Brooklyn. Eddie Murphy. I think I remember that. I've never seen it, but I do recall it. Gods and Generals. times Robin Williams and Kurt Russell that's got to be funny all right let's grab that too and then we've got uh, Wes Craven's the people under the stairs IQ okay so I just checked on Friday the 13th part three and it sells it's selling for like $25 if it were sealed it's like close to 100 bucks but this is a sweet little find because we'll be able to get it for like a buck or something like that or maybe a buck and a half but uh, I'm gonna look through the rest of them and see if any of these other ones are worth some money so we got future world wild at heart for your eyes <clears throat> Oh, we got a Halloween here, H2O. All right, I'll check on this one. Okay, so it turns out this isn't worth very much. It's like selling for like two, three bucks. But check this one out, The Bunker. I mean, I gotta get it just because it says The Bunker. The dead don't pick sides. Look like uh, Nazi zombies. I think I've seen this movie, actually. Oh, there's Platoon. I've got that already. Black Mask. Oh, it's got Jet Li in it. Ah, oh, there we go. Iron Eagle. All right, so now we got Iron Eagle and Iron Eagle 2. Sweet. All right. Million Dollar Hotel. My toy hunts are turning into uh, VHS hunts. I've been wanting to see this movie again. This has Robin Williams in it. Okay, I gotta get that because that was a good movie and I've been thinking about it lately. Beverly Hills Cop. Oh man, we gotta get that, man. There's so many good VHS tapes here today. This is crazy good. Murder at 1600. There's Powder. Breastman. <laughs> that was a, that's got a David Schwimmer in it, I think. Yeah, that was actually a good movie. says dawn of the dead all right i'll check on that one too and they got when harry met sally no way out money professor turbulence and there's mary shelley's frankenstein and we got beverly hills cop too so we got to get one and two and we've got the big red one with Lee Marvin in the pile you go. Oh, and how could you not get the Beverly Hillbillies? 
All right, man, <laughs> we're gonna have a big VHS haul today. All right, we got an extra large VHS haul. Let's head out to the car and do a little show and tell. All right, here's a quick rundown of what I got. I got Bi Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams. The Bunker, just because it's The Bunker. Friday the 13th, part three. Look at that, Jason Voorhees. All right, so we got this. Iron Eagle, baby, with Lou Gossett Jr. and Jason Gedrick. Iron Eagle 2 with just Lou Gossett Jr. I was just looking to see who's the other guy, who's the other actor. Well, he was apparently nobody because they didn't even, I don't think they even put his name on here. So we got Iron Eagle 2, The Naked Gun. This is such a great movie. I've never seen this one before, so I'm looking forward to watching it. The Best of Times with Robin Williams and Kurt Russell. The Beverly Hillbillies. Fletch Lives with Chevy Chase. The Big Red One with Lee Marvin. Beverly Hills Cop with Eddie Murphy. And last but certainly not least, Beverly Hills Cop 2. All right, guys, like I said, extra large VHS haul. <laughs> so up next, let's go hit up St. Vinny de Paul. I got an extra large VHS haul. Now it's time to hit up St. Vinny de Paul. Look at me dropping rhymes. All right, I'll see you over there. Actually, before we hit up St. Vinny de Paul, let's hit up the Support Your Troops resale shop, resale, resale store. <laughs> um, they've had some good things in here lately, so maybe they got some more stuff. This thing. A giant squishy monster. Wow, that thing is cool. I've never seen one that big before. I almost want to get it just because he's so big. <laughs> How much do they want for it? He's not too much money. We might just grab him. But I'm not seeing, unless it's on the bottom. Huh. I don't see a price. Well, if there's no price, maybe they'll give me a good deal on it at the register. Yeah, let's pick this guy up. This thing is cool as hell. Oh, we got this monster high. Or not monster high. <laughs> monster truck. The Scorpedo. It's kind of cool. And we got some wrestlers. Lex Luger. Cody Rhodes. Low. And we got some Eternals over here. I don't think these sold very well in stores, if I remember. Bronson Reed, that's kind of a cool figure. Oh, there's the price. $12 for him. Oh, that seems like a decent deal. I'm going to look him up and see how much he's actually really selling for, but I'm going to be keeping him. Oh, we've got some uh, Lego Buzz Lightyear from the latest movie. What else we got in here? Oh, there's some more uh, Disney stuff, Pixar, Monsters, Inc. And looks like maybe just some games and puzzles and stuff like that on the back. What's that over there? That looks like it might be a light year toy. Oh yeah, it is. That's cool. It's got the little figure. What do they want for that? Oh, nine dollars, damn. Warhammer. Oh, these must be like uh Ultramarines. This must be um like a model kit maybe? Unbox and find which one you get amongst four styles. Oh, so there must be four of them in here. Interesting. All right, well, they want like 16 bucks for each of these. From what I could see online, I think they're selling for 
35 40 dollars well let me back up warhammer something similar to this is selling for like 30 40 bucks but i couldn't find this one online at all but check this out dungeons and dragons idols of the realms essentials kit that is cool six bucks damn all right i'm probably gonna get that though oh wow look at this icons of the realms ice window just like a the game board paper craft set that's cool and then you've got these things here these must be like giant blind boxes you want five dollars for those i think yeah five each and then what do they want for this oh ten Kind of like almost if I'm going to get this, I should get that too, right? <laughs> but you know what? I don't know. This would probably just like, I would, I'd get it just to get, keep it probably. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. I might not get this at all. Oh, decisions, decisions. All right. So I'm going to get these two right here. I'm gonna pass on these, but these are pretty cool. I mean, these are some of the different figures that can, you can get out of there. Um, and then I'm definitely gonna pick up this dude. Okay, final decision. I <laughs> just keep going back and forth. I'm gonna leave this behind for somebody else and I'm just gonna get this guy. That's it, decision made. All right, so we got the Squish Monster. His name is Gregory. I've never seen one that big, and I was looking on eBay. They have smaller ones that are selling for like 14 bucks, and I've never seen one that size. There wasn't any listed. I even looked online, like on Google, and didn't see one as big as him. So, all right, now let's go hit up St. Vinnie de Paul. All right, my friends. We are here. We are at St. Vincent de Paul. Let's hope they got some vintage toys. I'm in the mood for some vintage scores had enough modern toys right we want some vintage toys we'll see what they got all right well she uh just locked the door <laughs> so we won't be going in there <laughs> she literally just came out and locked the door as i was trying to go in so let's uh head off to crap plastic sam's and call it a day all right folks here we are final destination kids plaza thrift aka craptastic sam's let's hope we finish strong in here all right, but what do we got there? Looks like an Alvin and the Chipmunks, a Mario, a Tasmanian Devil. There's some Fry Guys. We got some vintage stuff here. Care Bears. Yeah, let's grab some of this stuff, man. There's some good stuff here. And then we've got some Lego over here. Batman. Superheroes. That's cool. All right. Well, let's definitely grab some of these bags. Oh, look at these. These are like ventriloquist dolls. Oh, dang. 14. Okay, I'll take this bag. Got some Flintstones, Garfield. Oh, I think I'll take that one too. Take this one. Oh, I'm almost pretty. How much is this one? Ten dollars. Hmm. Oh wow. That is cool. Oops. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> He's got a... It's my phone. All right, well, the glass case was stocked. That was awesome. Uh, we're getting some stuff, but let's see what we can find here on the shelves. Oh, look at that Batman. He's got his cape is all ripped off. But uh, let's see. I'm kind of curious to see if that baggy section is stocked up. Oh, look at this motorcycle. 
Oh, it's like all busted up. Looks like we got a tank back here. Super chariot. All right, well, let's see if there's anything in baggy land. We got a 12 inch Wonder Woman there mixed in with these Barbies and whatever else. Yeah, I'm not really seeing much, guys. I don't know what this thing is. It's kind of interesting looking. It says 33 on it. What is that? got a baggie with some Garfields in it. Quite a few Garfields, actually. And there's like an army ant. Oh, there's a few army ants in here, actually. This is a nice bag. This has actually got some cool stuff in it. That's just, there's a GoBot or a Transformer. It's like a Garfield eraser. All right. So we found something here on the shelves. Should I say we found some stuff on the pegs? This bag here got ripped open. Somebody probably stole something out of it. Look at this. Somebody ripped this bag open. Probably trying to take this guy home. I don't know. Check these out. These are vintage football helmets. Those are the types that I would get out of the bubblegum machine when I was a kid. But what's this? Uh, what's this thing? Kind of looks like a. Kind of looks like a baseball. It's soft. That's definitely old. I don't know what that is though. It's kind of cool. Holy crap, guys. It's like I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> man, what a haul, man. We talk about a strong finish. Wow, that is awesome. Man, we got all kinds of 80s goodies in those baggies, man. Like, just like, you know, little miniatures, like Care Bears and, uh, Muppet babies from McDonald's and all kinds of cool stuff. Man, I'm on the jazz, man. I'm on that jazz, man. I'm on that jazz. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh I've got I've got a lot of stuff here. So we're gonna end the video here, but I promise you we'll go through those bags together and uh probably in my next video. Hey guys, I actually posted some videos out of order. So this bag opening video that I referenced, I already posted earlier this week. A lot of you already saw that. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna link it up here on the screen somewhere so that you can just click and go check it out. Or you can wait to the very end of this video and uh, just click the little end screen uh, thumbnail and it should take you to the bag opening video. I'm actually in the bunker right now cleaning stuff up and making room for all that stuff that was in those bags. So uh, anyway, check this next video out. So, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 600 videos you can start binge watching right now. Starting with this next video, I know you're going to love it.